Welcome back everybody and I'm very, very excited because we have in our studio Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2019, Miss Tajine Remy. She is joining us this morning. Good morning and Good welcome. Good morning, thank you. And she does have on the, 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 the real crown. <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, that right? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I should not have said that. <laughs> oh, okay. But I'm, I'm just happy to have you thank with you us. Congratulations on, on winning the competition. Thank you. Uh, how has it been? Oh, it's been so exciting. This past week, Sunday made it a week. This past week has really felt more like a month. It's been very eventful. Um, the feedback that I've been getting has been overwhelmingly positive from Trinidad and Tobago and from my family and from my community. I mean, it, it must be really good. I see yeah. the hashtag Team TTO is going around as mm. well because in case you didn't know, Ms. Tajane Remy, she is also a national athlete. Yeah, um, I would have represented Trinidad and Tobago playing volleyball for a number of years, probably five. Uh, five tours I've been on um, from 15 years old. And it's really just been an honor. I think being an ambassador for Trinidad and Tobago has been something that has really resonated with me and I feel very happy that I can do it on another platform. Yeah, I yeah. mean, how did you transition from being an athlete mm -hmm. to being Miss World? Yeah. Is, is it something that you always wanted to get into? Yeah, um, my brought up sea has always been very holistic. My mother always encouraged me to, you know, do my best at everything. And I think unintentionally she has been preparing me for this competition. Really? Yeah, I feel um, her, uh, she would have included me in dance schools, uh, my creative side. I played saxophone as well. I'm an athlete. Uh, I'm interested in theatre. And my spirituality and community work has also been very instrumental in, in terms of my career path and um, my educational background. Yeah, and also, in case people didn't know, you also have training in social work. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that, that's supposed to help because what yeah. sets this world apart from the rest of competitions is that beauty with a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think people tend to relate to, uh, pageantry to cattle shows, and they have reason to. I think that for a very long time we have seen where the physical attributes are the core consideration for uh, what uh, uh, feminine beauty should be. And beauty with a purpose, Miss Will has really transcended that notion and allowed us to see that women aren't just um, physically beautiful, but we're talented, we're fit, and we are instrumental in making social change. Yeah. Uh, how how did you do it? You know, you said your mother had a an influential role yeah. in you becoming who you are yeah. and where you are today. But for a young girl um, out there mm -hmm. looking and and saying, you know, she probably had the support. Now I don't. You know, mm -hmm. how do you really motivate and encourage young girls uh -huh. to get into sport one uh -huh. and and to then become Miss World? Turn that yeah. into big Um, I think the audacity. I I always uh, when I go to make presentations, I say you have to. Do have the audacity to, to do anything that you want. Believe that you can be the best that you can be. I think um, growing up in a single parent household has really allowed me to appreciate what it means to break barriers and break the, bound, the boundaries of uh, what stereotypes are. So I encourage all girls to continue being the best that you can be and you know, just continue doing, being, being lovely. I, I don't wanna intrude too much, no. but what was it like you know, for you as, as a young girl growing up, just having your mother around, not that father figure? Yeah, um, people tend to ask me that question and really it felt less like there was a gap that was missing. I think the support of my community, um, I like to say that I've, I've, I come from a very strong line of women and that's because I think that the women in my community, the women in my life, my aunts, my mommy, um, my multiple uh, community mommies, <laughs> they have been so core to the person I am today um, has have been exam exemplar sorry um, of what to, how to be selfless how to be strong how to be um, great wives and mothers mm -hmm. yeah so sound like a, a really strong person who you yeah. despite the situation mm -hmm. have overcome and now you can be an inspiration for so many other young yeah. girls Back to this beauty with a purpose sure. now. You have to do a project yes. in Trinidad. What project are you going to focus on? Yeah, um, I think the current influx of Venezuelan has really given us an opportunity to be a change and be a part of the solution in this very global epidemic. Uh, my heart goes out to the children who have experienced trauma in commuting from um, their place of home and where to a place where they're not necessarily uh, welcome. And uh, the Laramine uh, Migrant Support Group uh, um, it's a base in San Fernando that creates a child-friendly space uh, 
that allows children to um, in, uh, engage in educational activities, just a, a, a space where uh, nurturing can happen. And I think that uh, this group has developed a model that can be used throughout Trinidad and Tobago and integrate with our own society mm -hmm. and our own community and show that um, we can, you know, be instrumental and be um, a part of this, uh, this, this process. Well, it sounds like an interesting project. Kashini yeah. Remy, thank you so very much for joining thank us this morning. And me. we'd like to wish you all the very best moving forward and all the best in Thailand in December. <laughs> Kashini Remy, Miss Will Trinidad and Tobago 2019. Gary. I'm starstruck right now. Eh? <laughs> 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 yeah, I just want to say, you know, it's, it's great having you here with us this morning and sharing and, you know, just your backstory and a little bit more about you. It, it speaks volumes. And, you know, I want to thank you for, for joining us and, of course, congratulate you on all that you've done so far. And we, we look forward to seeing you, pre, uh, you know, um, represent us in the, in the world, on the world stage in, in the competition. Thank you. Definitely. <laughs>